Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Habitus 3D. Today we're going to look at two things. One is bed leveling and the other one is how many tops, how many bottom layers, and how many outer perimeters you need for your print and does it make a difference. So let's go get into it here. Let's bring it around. There we go. Alright, I brought Simplify 3D up. Now as you'll see here, I have a CR10. I have a CR10, an Ender 2, and a JG Aurora A5. And if I do anything to them, uh, clean the nozzle or have a hard time removing something from the bed, it seems to put my bed a little bit out of whack. Just enough so I'm not sure it will stick the next time. So, what we've done is we picked a model. Let's go ahead and show you what I picked. Now, you can pick a square model, but if you do that, of course, the layer lines, when you pick a square model, could just like lay down flat. If you pick a circle though, there's always going to be a little bit of tension as it goes around and around. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to, there we go, pick a circle. And with this circle, I know that I can go to my CR10. There we go. And in my CR10, we're going to go to additional layers up here. Under additions, I'm going to use my skirt. And as you can see, I'm going to push it out a uh, hundred. I'm going to push it out a hundred, and then I usually set this to four. The reason I set it to four is it will make four circles around the outer perimeter before it starts doing anything. So that gives me four chances to adjust the bed up or down just enough to make sure it's going to stick because you'll actually rub your finger across the bed to make sure it just doesn't pop off as your finger goes across it. So let's see what that looks like once we've done this. Okay. If you hit prepare print, you'll see, there we go, that's a pretty good circle. That circle is covering most of the areas I'm going to print in. And if that is, I uh, got a little bit of a bumper reach to it, which means the Z height is correct. And when I push my finger across it, it doesn't come off the bed. It's going to stick. If it's too flat, your Z is too close. And of course, if it comes right off as you rub across it, it's too far away. Now, what I suggest you do is get a memory card, similar to this one here. Now, you can put this on your regular memory card with all your other prints. But what it's going to do is it's going to get buried in all the prints that you do. So it could be 20 down from the top. So what I've done on this memory stick, which is a 2 gigabyte, is um, I put four, three printers on there, right? I put my CR10, my Ender 2, and my JG Aurora 5 So if I question, if I have a print that really has to stick, I'll run this first, make sure it's sticking with the circle, and then I'm free to print a regular print of what I'm doing and then having it pop off. So that's how you should level a bed. Chris from today's 3D Print showed me this and it works really well. Much better than using the program that they have on the printer to try to do the four corners because as you just one corner, the other one will be out of whack. With the circle, it's just going around. Now, after it makes one complete circle and it's loose, you can make your adjustments pull off the filament and then let it do the next circle, test it, pull that one and adjust, let it do the next circle. You get four chances to get it right. And if, if you don't do it in four, you can just restart the process. So that's how to level a bed using a circle. Now the other thing we're going to talk about is your parameters, right? Let's go ahead and take a look at your parameters here. Now what I'm talking about is this page here. Let's see if I can zoom a little bit here. There we go. It's going to be under layer. So under layer, in this area here, you can see that I have three settings. Top side of the layer, bottom side of the layer, outer perimeter, or shells, which is a two. Now the shells give you strength, right? Because it's two layers wide. Also it helps you hit some extreme angles, the more shells you have, the more, better of an angle it can handle. 
the bottom is how well it's going to stick to your surface of your bed and what it's going to look like on the bottom and then of course your top is going to be your finish. So I played with this because not only do we have to play with that but then under infill you have these angles, right? Here we go. So it runs at 45 and negative 45 which is 90 degrees. I thought, well, what if I'm not going 90 degrees? What if I click here, remove that angle, add zero, and then say add 45, right? Or negative 45. So now the first layer on the top, first on the top, is going to be 45, and then it's going to be zero, and then it's going to be negative 45. And if I have another layer, it will start at 45 again. Right? So does that make a difference? Is it good just stock or should I add a bunch of different um, angles for each layer I have on top? So I tested this out. I actually printed some circles, like I showed you before, with different tops, right? So let's go ahead and start. So we're going to look at um, the stock. So this is your stock. It was printed in just a medium resolution 0.2, uh, but it was printed with 10% infill and standard 210 for PLA. So this guy, all right, so he has um, four bottoms. Oh, this is a two, I'm sorry. Here we go. He has four bottoms and four tops. So the bottoms uh, on the CR10 is always kind of rough because I'm using tape so you can see the blue. So there's going to be a texture, but the top, really kind of smooth. I like that a lot. Now, if you take a look, you can just barely see some artifacting. That was on the Ender 2, and I think uh, it was my adjustment and nothing to do with the top. But it is really smooth, and you have about three lines of artifact. If I change it to what I described before, which is 45, 0, 45, you'll see that there's less artifacting, right? Because on this one, I had lines going this way and lines going that way. On this one, with the change in angles, I've reduced the amount of artifacting, which means on a regular printer, if I've adjusted out those artifacts, this is a better finish and more forgiving than this. Now, on the next one, I went crazy, right? So I've got 0, 45, 0, 90, I mean, I just went all over the place. And this one has even more artifacting than the others. I've got lines here. I've got diagonal lines. More angles is not better. Actually, it turns out that less angles is better. Um, I think that this is probably my best finish. So you're, you're talking about the tops. So why does that make a difference? Well, let me show you here. I'll show you um, a print that I did where the tops would definitely make a difference, and that is this. See this skull? Now, if I have a bunch of strange artifacting and stuff, it would be tough to get a smooth finish. But on here, I can hardly even tell the layer lines on the Ender 2. So this was done on 45, 0, and negative 45, and it came out pretty great, as you can see. What if I went less? What if I went with three? This is three tops, three bottoms, and three infills. This is done on a CR-10. And you can see the three, not quite as good as the four. Take a look. As you can see, um, you can I used the rectangular um, supports inside. And so you can actually see the rectangular lines in there with only three layers. What if we only had two layers? Well, two layers is even worse. Okay? This two layers is, is a mess. I, I don't think I can do anything with that. In fact, you can see through it, so two may not be enough. Now, if you're not doing something artsy, if you're just doing a project, something like this, which is my phone holder, pretty cool. I mean, two may be okay because it just has to hold something structurally it doesn't need to be pretty, so two would be okay there, save you some filament and time, 
but if you're doing this, yeah, let's go ahead and use three or four on this. And remember, it was uh, 45, 0, 45, negative 45, and even a, um, like a 45, 0, negative 45, and maybe a zero. That may work as well. It seems like jumping at 45 degree angles is going to give you the best finish of all of these. Okay, so what did we see? Well, we saw that there's an easy way to level your bed. It just takes the memory card dedicated to bed leveling, so it's easy to plug in and get you within seconds and level your bed. Okay, so it may take 30 seconds to do this. It's really quick. And we learned that more is not better, right? Getting more weird angles laid out on this is not going to get us a better finish. Just keep it simple. Keep the angles at 45 degrees or less. Uh, more tops for a better finish. And you guys should do great. As always, let me zoom out. Whoa. Subscribe to the link below or the skull will get you. Whoa. And, and give me comments. If you've had different experiences, better experiences, let me know. And I'll feature it on my next video because I'm really interested in how the settings here affect your print. Thank you for being here at Average Joe's 3D. You have a great day.